hello everyone how are you doing so yeah welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can recover deleted messages on whatsapp how you can recover deleted messages on whatsapp you see there are sometimes we chat with friends and at a point they get to delete their messages probably because you are not online to see the message at that moment and you are always curious to know what they actually deleted so with this simple trick i'll be showing you right now you get to discover how you can recover deleted messages how you can see what someone already unsent so if you are new on this channel my name is charles chino so and i'm glad to have you here so on this channel basically i talk about ways you can make money on the internet and things you can do to get better results with your internet marketing activities so if you are new on this channel ensure to give this video a thumbs up ensure to subscribe kindly comment if this actually works for you so that this video will reach more people and as an appreciation for the effort i put into researching some tricks for you guys on how to do amazing things like this so let's get straight to the video if you want to recover deleted whatsapp messages you don't need gb whatsapp you don't need all these whatsapp clones i'll be showing you guys a simple app you can use to do that right away so just head on to play store and download an app called notisave like even if they get to delete any messages at their end the message will be right in your own dm so when you search for notisave i guess you can see the app over here so you click on install so let's wait for this to install so it's already downloading can you see so we are done downloading and it's installing so once you're done installing so once you're done installing then you click on open so once you click on open this is what the interface looks like so click on allow to send notification for now the next thing you do is you click on next click on next again then you can click on allow to access all notification so we are doing this step by step so ensure you follow all the steps i'm taking so that you don't make any mistake so what you do now is you click on next can you see next down here so click on next so once you are here what you do next is you scroll down to where you have notice save i guess you can see notice save here and it's written denied so just tap on it so that i can give it access to your phone so click on allow notification access just put this on so once you on it click on allow can you see so we are gradually getting to what we want to achieve so you go back then go back and come here and click on allow so you can see it's loading some assets so let's wait for this so what you do next is you click on next can you see click on next just what we have on our screen right here so once you click on next can you see that all these buttons right here are on so what you want to do now is you want to put them all off so just come to this switch that we have up here then click on on can you see then you click on off again can you see once you click on off every other thing you have here will be put off so once all these are switched off so what you do now is you now go back to the app click on back can you see back up here so click on back then come over here and click on next then click on back again can you see back up here so once we go back then you can see this it will look as if your launcher has changed but then you have no reason to be scared so what you do now is you just click on next click on next again everything will return back to how it was before i mean your launcher it will return back to how it was before so click on next again so once you're done with this then you click on this check icon down here so once you click on check then it means that we are done with the old setting so now let's go to our whatsapp to try what we just set up to see if it's truly working on our phone so i'll be going to my whatsapp right now so i have two different whatsapp so i'll go to one of my whatsapp and send a message then unsend it then we will check the results that it will bring for us so now let's head on to my whatsapp to try out what we just set up so that we see if it's truly working so i'll go to my whatsapp right now so once i go to my whatsapp i'll search for my contacts so i can send the message to my contacts so my glow my glow let me look for my glow line so over here i'll send a message to my glow line and let's see if it actually works so can you see that's great do you now understand how the business works so can you see that the message was received at this end so let's now delete the message and see if 
we will be able to recover it so can you see let's delete the message so now the message has been deleted so when you go over here you will see that it was also deleted that's set to write so now let's go to notice save and see if we will be able to recover the message that was deleted so when i head on to notice save i'll get to open the application then we get to see can you see that's great do you now understand how the business works that message that was deleted right now this is it over here do you get so now you can now recover messages from your friends your family or anybody that gets to send you a message and get to delete it probably you are curious or you're feeling bad that the person deleted his or her messages so with this trick you'll be able to recover any message that was sent to you and was deleted so i guess you got value from this video if you did ensure to subscribe to this channel and as a means of appreciation please just comment and like on this video so that it will go viral all right now thanks for tuning in i guess i'll see you in my next video bye guys